What's business guys? Let's talk about why you're going to need a push mode when you first start off your business. With a push mode, you're going to find that it's a lot easier to take care of your customers. Reason being, a lot of customers that you're going to run into are going to have areas in their yard where you can't get to, man. Not with a zero turn. Uh, the maneuverability with a push mode is going to be a lot easier. Make the yard look a lot better. You don't have to worry about much of a cleanup afterwards, especially if you're bagging the front yard. And as a new lawn care business provider, owner, operator, you want to make sure that you set yourself apart from the rest of the guys that are out there doing the job, right? So one of the things you want to do is make sure you bag the front yard. Hey, you can't do that with a zero turn. And if you do, uh, it's pretty much a waste of time. The bags that are going on there, uh, it makes it a little bit more uh less maneuverable to get around and things like that so my suggestion when you're first starting off your business is to get you a self-propelled push mow get out there get the job done see if it's something that you even want to do a lot of guys get into this and once uh you know things start to come up they start to figure out that this isn't the you know game for them so my suggestion again is to get a, a zero turn when you're two to three years in and you've already decided hey this is how I'm gonna make my living and this is really what I want to do uh, at that point you've made all the investments in the other equipment that you need to get yourself good and going with a weed eater uh, and a self-propelled mow. the other thing that is a common factor especially here is that we have a lot of yards with gates in them uh, so that's another thing if you have a zero turn it does make it a lot harder to get into somebody's backyard so the last thing you want to do is put yourself in a bind and not be able to get into a customer's backyard with a zero turn if that's the only option that you have you're going to wind up turning down a lot of clients and missing out on a lot of money so again guys this is how we should start off nobody's saying you got to stay there forever but it will show you what you need to do to get the job done uh, in the very beginning you don't have to worry about all the other issues with the zero turn as far as maintenance as far as actually loading it up this is a lot more portable it makes it easy you could probably slap this in your trunk again we're looking to get started and be profitable in our first year and not find ourselves in a bind where we're uh, one of those businesses that fail as we know, 80% of lawn care businesses fail within the first year. And equipment is one of the main reasons why a lot of guys go out and purchase a zero turn and then find that they can't get any customers or get the customers that are going to, you know, kind of substitute and replace the, the money that you spent on a zero turn. So, guys, we're trying to get you right. We're trying to get you going in the right direction. Take my advice and purchase a push mow. I would suggest a Honda engine and whatever push mow you go with. They're pretty reliable. Low maintenance on it also. Uh, and then again, if something goes wrong with that, guess what? You haven't invested in too much money. And on this channel, we're always talking about space and place and helping you level up your lawn care game so you can be profitable right that's what we're doing this for so we have a love for it and we also want to make some money so that's what we're trying to do guys i hope this video helps you out and puts you in a good space and place and if it did like and subscribe and as always be great let's go